It's National Drug Take Back Day, and I couldn't find anyone better to stand with today than the sheriff, who's one of the busiest people in, in Hollywood, one of the busiest people <laughs> on the streets, and one of the busiest people in our community. It's, it's great to be here, Bruce. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to see you again. So what do you got going on Saturday? Well, on Saturday, we've got our National Drug Take Back Day. This is a program that nationally, we're reaching out to all the persons in Queen Anne's County to bring in all of those unused prescriptions that they've got sitting around in their medicine cabinets. The ones that they're not using that they think they may need later. Let's get those out of the hands of kids. Let's get them out of the hands of people that may come into your home and let's take these drugs back. Yeah, and we're going to bring them right here to the we sheriff's are. office. It's real convenient. It's real easy. Just stop by the sheriff's office here and uh, bring your prescriptions in. You can bring your sharps in. The only thing we're not accepting are aerosols, but everything else, bring in, turn it in, and we've even got a surprise for you. Speaking of surprise, I think I heard a little bit about it. It might be a gift card, right? Maybe some places where we you We are. Have... We're even going to pay you for your unwanted prescriptions. So that's not really drug dealing. <laughs> we're actually, you know an incentive to get people to bring those prescriptions in. So we're hoping that somebody will come in, bring the prescriptions in. We're going to let them reach into a bag and then we pull out a gift card anywhere from five to 15 to 20 bucks um, at a lot of local places. So we've got Subway, we've got Dunkin Donuts, Starbucks, we've got Acme right down the street or even Safeway on Ken Island. So a lot of great places in our community. So you get paid for giving us your drugs. I know you guys are sponsoring the event, but you had a lot of help. You had the health department locally, and you also had the opioid misuse prevention program to help out, right? We do, and we couldn't do it without their support. I mean, we're the ones that are actually collecting the medications to have them disposed of, but without them as partners in the state of Maryland, uh, we couldn't be doing this. So they're the ones providing the funding, the incentives, but we're also partnering this with the national take back day that's going on all across our nation. So we hope people come in, bring those prescriptions in, and we're looking forward to meeting everybody and seeing everybody on Saturday. Come get your gift cards. Yeah, fill up those bags. That's right.